Hello and welcome to the session on clocks. Hi, I'm Ravi Handa and my Twitter handle is at the rate Ravi Handa. You can use that to provide feedback and suggestions for more videos. In this particular session, we'll talk about some of the basics which are related to clocks. We'll also discuss how many times do hands of a clock, that is the minute hand and the hour hand meet. We'll try and find out methods to find out the angle when the time is given and also the other way around finding out the time when let's say the angle is given to us as 20 degree or 30 degree or any degree for that matter. To begin with, the most basic and the most important idea is to know that the speed of the minute hand is 6 degrees per minute whereas the speed of the hour hand is half a degree per minute. It is also important to understand that why is it like this? It is 6 degrees per minute because of the simple reason that the minute hand moves 360 degrees or one full circle in an hour. So 360 degrees in 60 minutes which is effectively 6 degrees on a per minute basis. Very similarly the hour hand moves one full circle in 12 hours that is 360 degrees in 720 minutes or half a degree per minute. We'll see how this will be used in some problems. But before that, we need to understand the concept of the meeting of hands. You know that the hands meet at 12 o'clock. You also know that between 1 and 2, the hands of the clock will meet somewhere because the minute hand is faster and it will take an extra lap. It will have made an extra round over the our hand. So between 1 and 2 they will meet at some time around 1, 5 if you can roughly remember. Between 2 and 3 they will meet, between 3 and 4 they will meet and essentially they will meet once in every gap of an hour. So it essentially happens 11 times in 12 hours or 22 times in a day. If you want to ask me that why is it that if it is once every hour not 12 times in 12 hours because between 1 and 2 there is a meeting, between 2 and 3 there is a meeting, between 3 and 4 there is a meeting. When is the meeting between 11 and 12 or between 12 and 1? That is the same meeting which happens at 12 o'clock. So this one particular meeting takes care of two R gaps. That is the R gap between 11 and 12 and the R gap between 12 and 1. All others it happens, uh, in all other R gaps it happens exactly once. That is why it is 11 meetings or they meet 11 times in 12 hours. Next question would be what is the gap between any of these two meetings? Well, 11 meetings in 12 hours, one meeting in 12 hours by 11 or 720 minutes by 11 which effectively comes out as 65 5 by 11 minutes which you can also realize as 1 hour 5 minutes and 5 by 11th of a minute which is just 65 5 by 11. So one meeting happens at 12. The next one will be 1 hour 5 minutes and 5 eleventh of a minute later. That will be 1 5 5 by 11. Another meeting, another 1 hour 5 minutes 5 by 11 should be added. So that becomes 2 10 10 by 11. Another meeting, add another 1 hour 5 minutes 5 by 11. So you get 3 15 15 by 11. But there is no such thing as 15 by 11. What is 15 by 11? 15 by 11 is effectively 1 4 by 11. So this becomes the one extra minute that you had got. So this becomes 3 16 4 by 11. So now let's say someone randomly asks you that between 7 and 8, when will the hands of a clock meet? All you gotta do is 7 times because it will be the 7th meeting after 12 o'clock. 7 times 1 5 5 by 11. So what will you get? You'll get 7 into 1 is 7, 7 into 5 is 35. So you will get 7, 35, 35 by 11, 35 by 11 as you know, there is no such thing as 35 by 11 to write it in a proper format, it would become 3, 2 by 11 or it becomes so to say 7, 38, 2 by 11. So this is the way how you can find out a meeting of the hands of a clock between any time gap. Let's say if you had to calculate between 4 and 5, very simply, it will be 4 times instead of 7 of 155 by 11. So you would have got 4, 20, 
20 by 11 20 by 11 is 1 9 by 11 or you would have got the final answer as 4 20 20 by 11 20 by 11 would have become 1 9 by 11 this one would have gone here and you would have got 4 21 and 9 by 11 as the meeting between 4 and 5. This is a concept which comes in very handy and also useful for some fast calculations. The next idea is finding the angle when the time is given. For that you need to basically know one fundamental idea that at any perfect hour that is at 1 o'clock at 2 o'clock at 3 o'clock what is the angle? The minute hand as you know is at 12 or it is pointing at the vertical or you can say it is at an angle of 0 degree from the vertical. Whereas the hour hand at 1 o'clock it has already covered 30 degrees, at 2 o'clock it has covered 60 degrees, at 3 o'clock it has covered 90 degrees. At essentially n o'clock it has covered 30 n degrees. So at 7 o'clock it will be 210 degrees. Once you have that, once you understand that, finding the angle at any time is going to become very very simple. Let us look at an example. Find the angle between the hands at 342. Now 342 is a weird time. So what you do is first you figure out the angle at 3 o'clock. At n o'clock it's 30 n. So at 3 o'clock it's 90 degrees. The minute hand is at the vertical and the hour hand is at 90 degree from the vertical. Now what will happen in 42 minutes? The hour hand was already at 90 degrees. Now it moves at half a degree per minute. So in 42 minutes, how much it would have moved? 42 into half or 21 degrees. That means 90 plus 21 or 111 degrees will be from the vertical will be the new position of the hour hand. Very similarly for the minute hand. Minute hand moves at the rate of 6 degrees per minute. In 42 minutes, it would have moved 42 into 6 or 232 degrees. So you have the position of the minute hand as 232 degree from the vertical, the hour hand as 111 degree from the vertical. So what is the angle between the hands? Well, if you know two positions and you want to find out the gap between them, you just subtract 232 minus 111 gives us 121 and that is the answer that I was looking for. Not convinced? Try out another one. Angle between the hands at 510. Very similar idea. Angle at 5 o'clock is 150, 30 n. Minute hand is at the vertical, whereas the hour hand is at 150 from the vertical. In 10 minutes, what would have happened? Hour hand would have moved uh, 10 into half or 5 degrees. It was already at 150. So new position, 155 degrees. The minute hand, well, in 10 minutes, the minute hand will move 60 degrees because it moves at 6 degree per minute. The new angle between them, it is at 155 degrees. Our, our hand is at 155 degrees. Minute hand is at 60 degrees. Gap between the two of them or the angle between them is the difference, which is 95 degrees. And that is the idea. That is the answer that we were looking for. Now, for the final type, finding the time when the angle is given. Well, let's say we are given that the angle is 60 degrees and the time is between 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock. Take the basic, take the time that you know. I know at 5 o'clock it is 150 degrees, minute hand is at the vertical, hour hand is at 150 degree from the vertical. Very similar to the previous question actually. What will happen in T minutes? In T minutes, the hour hand would reach 150 plus T by 2. It was already at 150. It would have moved t by 2 degrees. Whereas the minute hand, well, the minute hand will move at 6 degree per minute. So in t minutes, it will reach 60 degrees. Now, the angle between the hands can be 60 degrees in two ways. How? It could be that the hour hand is ahead. It could be when the minute hand is ahead. As you can see in the previous example, what happened here? In the first case, the minute hand was ahead, it was at 232 degrees. In the second case, the hour hand was ahead because the hour hand was at 155 degree from the vertical. So both cases are possible and you will have to consider both cases when you are trying to find out 
an angle because an angle can appear in two ways that is when the hour hand is ahead or when the minute hand is ahead so when the hour hand is ahead what will you do you will do 150 plus t by 2 minus 60 minus 60 degrees which will give me 60 degrees a little tongue twister there 60 and 60 you have it's a very simple equation you can solve it to get t as 180 by 11 how do you solve it t by 2 minus 60 is effectively 11 t by 2 150 minus 60 is 90 so 90 into 2 by 11 which gives me 180 by 11 or 16 4 by 11 so that is one value of t that is one answer for t the other way around we'll have to consider minute hand is ahead so i'll do 60 degrees minus 150 plus t by 2 solve it out i get again 11 t by 2 is 150 plus 60 or 150 plus 60 is how much 210 210 into 2 by 11 which is 420 by 11 or 38 2 by 11. So in this case, effectively, you get two answers. That is 5, 16, 4 by 11th of a minute and 5, 38, 2 by 11th of a minute. The first one is when the minute hand is behind and the hour hand is ahead. The second case is when the hour hand is behind and the minute hand is ahead. So these are the two answers when the angle is 60 degrees between 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock. Hope you found this session useful. Please provide feedback via Twitter at my Twitter handle, which is at the rate Ravi Handa. You can also email me on my mail ID, which is ravihanda at gmail.com. Thank you guys. Hope to see you again. Bye-bye.